It is. It's 5.15. Good evening. Good evening, Mickey. It is. Oh, boy. <laughs> Obviously, the theme is Winnie and the Pooh because we're going to the Crystal Palace. And the Crystal Palace hosts Winnie and his friends. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. So I haven't seen them. <sighs> oh God, I don't know, since 2018, 2017, somewhere in there. So I haven't done this in a long time. I heard the food has gotten better. So I do have like mid to high hopes for this. It is a buffet, one price per adult, one price per child, and we'll dig into that a little bit more. So let's wrap on out. Chris is gonna get his shoes on, and we'll see you at Magic. Magic Kingdom, that is. I'm gonna do my OOTD now. I have a beautiful Winnie the Pooh shirt. I got this from Shop Disney. I believe you can get it. Um, you can still get it in the parks and get it online. I have my sunglasses from earlier, and then I have my TVs on, and just biker shorts because we're going for comfort. And Christopher. Yeah. Five second OOTD, go. Brand new fanny pack, Winnie the Pooh shirt, Mickey hat with the ears, neck fan, shoes, socks, shorts, magic band, wedding ring. Let's go. Hello everyone, and welcome aboard the Walt Disney World transportation system. We are on our way to the Magic Kingdom. We've made it to the Magic Kingdom, well, not yet. The bus depot at the Magic Kingdom. If you have a Disney dining reservation, yeah. they do tend to give a 10 to 15 minute grace period after the time of your reservation begins. So if Chris and I were running any later, we have that little buffer. So that's a good tip for you guys to know. If you're ever running late, don't worry. Disney will take care of you as long as you're not too late. All right, gotta go through security now. There we go, thank you. <laughs> to all that come to this happy place, welcome. I'm just ready to turn that corner and just see the beautiful castle. I saw the castle on the bus coming up, and I'll be honest, well, let me just finish my thought. Sorry. Sorry. Is it never gets old. <laughs> Look how beautiful that castle is. Never gets old, guys. Never, never does. I'm happy. I'm with a beautiful wife. <laughs> Disney World. Looking at a beautiful castle. <laughs> and we're about to go smash a bunch of food. <laughs> we're hungry. Yes. Finally kicked in. <laughs> no. But this is great. This is just so awesome. I, I just... I know I say it so much, but I, I really do feel blessed to be able to do this with my favorite person in the world at my favorite place in the world. Yeah. And to be able to show all of my favorite fans in the world. So, there we go, guys. Neat. <laughs> let's go get some food. We'll see you at Crystal Palace. Okay, let's go. So, it's really easy to get to the Crystal Palace. Once you're down Main Street, you hang a left when you get to Casey's Corner, which is the hot dog place. And the Crystal Palace is this beautiful Victorian restaurant. So like I mentioned before, the Crystal Palace serves a buffet meal three times a day. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is $48 per adult. $30 for a child, lunch is $61 per adult, $40 per child, and the same price for dinner. So on the Disney Dining Plan, the Crystal Palace counts as one sit-down, full-service restaurant credit. Please pay attention to some of the restaurants 
that you're looking at because some of the signature restaurants, for example, Topolino's Terrace, takes two credits. So if you're not willing to give up two credits, which Chris and I weren't on this vacation, just pay attention to that. If you have any questions, you can always call guest services or you can check the Disney World dining website for more information. It's up to you, but honestly, we both agree that spending two points or two credits for a signature isn't really worth the value. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to eat at a signature restaurant and you see the value in doing that, then by all means do it. It's your credits, so you can do whatever you want. But we just feel like you're gonna get more bang for your buck so to say, mm -hmm. if you don't take that route of using two credits for a signature restaurant. But again, it's up to you and we're just, you know, telling you how uh, we're gonna roll. So, that's it. All right, we'll check back in when we get our table. Thank you. Thank you. So walking over to the buffet line, we got the kids buffet, which has chicken tenders, macaroni and cheese, miniature beef quesadilla, and a cheesy pizza bread. Oh yeah, Chris is going in for the rolls. We got the main line here, which are Parker house rolls, pretzel rolls, lavash, and assorted other dinner rolls. We do have, looks like ketchup, barbecue, honey mustard, some make your own salad, fresh fixings here, vegetables, some pasta salad, fruit salad, and the peel and eat shrimp. We have the hotline here, which is the country fried chicken. That looks really good. Mashed potatoes, broccoli. Are those collards? Those are collards. We have marble potatoes, grits, rainbow carrots, a shrimp creole, basmati rice Chris is going for, and a vegetable masala. We have a honey glazed salmon and a four cheese macaroni. We have oven roasted chicken, arropa. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. I'll have to ask what uh, that is. A chicken and andu sausage gumbo and a carved beef. There are two buffet lines that meet in the middle, and my husband already has a full plate. Yes, I am very happy. I'm coming back for the pork loin and more prime rib, but I'm gonna start off with this. I think it's cool that it's basically the same things on both sides, so the, the flow is really well. It's not like a line, it's really neat. Yeah. The selection of food, I'm very impressed, so I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> I've got a little bit of everything. I got a cheese beef quesadilla uh, from the kids station. A pretzel roll, you only eat shrimp, that is the fried chicken, the shrimp, creole, mashed potato, collard greens, and salmon. And Chris is just about done with his first plate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got, I sat down first. That's okay, honey. Are you enjoying it so far? Oh, everything is delicious. Those collard greens are yeah. on point. Well, I got some, so what we'll do is we are gonna get our fill. I will film the desserts, and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Tigger! What's up, bud? Since I was a very little girl, I just, I watched one of your videos on the and you were there bouncing around, right? You still got it in you? I bounced all the way here from our resort to here, just for you. I promise. Uh huh. I don't know, but you see OG over here. You got a long this way is, to go. This is true. You this is true. Beat the great here. No one can I can't do that. I can. I can never do that. I could never do that. Are you kidding me? Hi, Tigger. Take it easy, bud. Oh yeah, I will. I got you. I got you all day long. How are you this Can I take a selfie with you since my husband decided to go get another plate for you? 
Yeah, he's over there. Oh, here he comes, but he's, he's, he's busy with the food. I came for you guys. He came from the food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Eeyore. Eeyore, can I just get a hug? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh, it's my second plate. It's my second plate. We've been here like 10 minutes. He's like, keep I'm it going. Boy. <laughs> Thank you, Eeyore. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Aww. What desserts did you get? I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't even look to see what this was. Oh I just gosh. grabbed it because it looked good. But this is a carrot cake cheesecake, a honey flan, and then I got chocolate soft serve. Now they have, you can get like a soft warm brownie or cookies to put on the bottom or whatever you want to do, but oh, this one with really? ice cream. So I'm going to hop into the, um, the honey flan. Let's see how good this is. Mm. Now that's flan. Whatever we had at the Mexico <laughs> food booth yesterday definitely was not. So it's like flan with a cake bottle. Interesting. Let's do the uh, carrot cake cheesecake. That's good as heck too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. And it has like pineapple bits on top. Wow, that is delicious. I think I like that carrot cake cheesecake better than the flan, though the flan is good. Now I want to move along to whatever the heck this is. I did not look, I just picked it up and wanted to try because it, it looked interesting. I'm guessing it's like a Tigger theme. I guess each character has a, a dessert. Yep. So I'm guessing the honey flan's Pooh Bear. The carrot cake is rabbit. Rabbit. Tigger. They had a pink, like little tiny little cupcake, so I'm guessing that's Piglet. And then they had something else which I'm guessing would be Eeyore. So Uh-oh. I don't like that. Alright, well let me try it because I had my eye on that. It's very flavorless. Have you spent? Yeah. And you like it. Of course she does. Okay. She only likes things that I don't like. This is a very niche thing. If you like the Halloween Oreos, this is oh exactly what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> and I love them. I love that. I wait uh, once a year I buy Oreos. That's and that's crazy. when I buy them. So as you can tell. I enjoyed that. I see what you mean about it tasting like Halloween Oreos. Yeah. I enjoyed the. Wait till you try the carrot cake. Okay. Um, this is mine. You can. No, no, no. Go it's get okay. your own. Yeah, I'm gonna get my own because Piglet and Pooh are about to come say hi to us. Hi, Pooh. How are you? We are filming you. Find you? Yeah, we found yourself. See, there's, there's people back home in, in North Carolina, not too far away from here, but there's people back home, my family, who love you and want to say hi. So, hello. Wish you were here, right? Thank you, best friend. You are so sweet. <laughs> thank you so much, big love. And thank you for the cupcakes. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh Bear! 
We are at the dessert station and looks like we have a strawberry chocolate cake, carrot cake, cheesecake, a honey mousse cake, a plant-based citrus cake, a honey bee flan, and a panna cotta parfait. We do have a soft serve ice cream machine, but this one is currently not working. There's one on the other side. And you can get uh, a loaded brownie, which looks like it has M&Ms and maybe cookie on the bottom and some fresh cookies. So let's grab some dessert. Okay, we met everybody. That was a little cray cray. I got some dessert. Of course, I got another Halloween Oreo cup. <laughs> and show you guys here. I got the carrot cake per Chris's recommendation. There is the little honey Winnie the Pooh mousse, the strawberry cupcake that Piglet was talking about. And then I did get the um, Eeyore citrus cake, and I believe the citrus cake is the plant based option. So I wanted to try that. Interesting. Yeah. So. Try that carrot cake first. Okay. I want to see what you think about it. Make sure you get some of that pineapple. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's really nice. It's super good. And we're really sorry if, it, if you can't hear us too well. It's very loud in here. I mean, like, extremely loud. On top of all the screaming kids, which is fine, it's Disney. But it's just, the sound definitely um, travels in this restaurant for sure. And you have to be prepared for coming to restaurants like this. Yeah. Especially character dining tends to be a little bit more rowdy than a normal like yeah. sit down or a signature. There tends to be more kids, so. I'm going to go for the citrus cake next. Yeah, I want to try that too. I think I'd like it better without the icing. You want to know what it reminds me of? A juju bean. <laughs> like the candy? Yeah. Like the flavor wise. It had the flavor wise, yeah. Wow, yeah. Now that you say that, <laughs> it tastes exactly like the yellow jujubees. Exactly. Wow. All right. We need the poop. What is that? They didn't have that up there when I when I went up there. I filmed it. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I'll try some. I'm not a fan of that either. It's a mousse with yeah. a little bit of a cupcake bottom. It's, it's okay. I don't like it. I'm gonna try the strawberry cupcake. I'm gonna try it, but without the icing. I'm not a big icing fan. I don't like that either. It's good. It's okay. All right. So I think our favorites are this little cup, well at least my favorite. Collectively, the carrot cake is our favorite. So good. And what's your favorite? Carrot cake. Right, there you go. Carrot cake, and then I would say after that would be the flan. But that carrot cake is, well it's carrot cake cheesecake. I'm gonna finish my dessert, and then we'll catch you in a little bit. Well, Crystal Palace is down, and we are full. Check it off the list. Really good. What would you give that out of 10? The whole experience, everything. Eight out of 10. I'd give it an eight out of 10 too. Honestly, I'm, you know, the characters aren't my favorite, but it was fun, but the food is what I was more focused on. I mean, I went ham. It's so. I, and very quick. Chris like ate like two plates yeah. like that. Oh yeah, it was so good. <laughs> that prime rib was delicious. Collard yes. greens are really good. I yeah. mean, I was actually really impressed with the buffet food. Everything was hot, everything was cooked well. Yes. I really enjoyed that. So that is definitely something that I would do again. And I think we would recommend people to try that out because there's been a kind of a bad rap with this place, right? It's been hit or miss, yeah. and I know in the past the menu has been iffy, but the menu has changed. And like yeah. Chris said, one of the yeah. big attractive items on the buffet is the prime rib, and I can say that it's really, oh, really good. Man, perfect, like perfect, like medium rare, just in that horseradish sauce, just, oh. Yeah. So I'm good, I, I, uh, desserts were great, though. Desserts were good. I enjoyed only a little bit of them, but mm -hmm. other than that, overall, it was 
super delicious, super yeah. fun. It was very loud in there. It was very loud, so please prepare yourself. Yeah. And that's why I docked it a couple points. Um, the atmosphere, although it was a beautiful restaurant, mm. very loud. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah, well, that's okay. So now we are off to Big Thunder Mountain for a nice evening ride in the wilderness. The wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> Let's go, guys. <laughs> Crowd level check. Not too bad. I'm just saying it. Here's Tiana's. It is testing. Yeah, but when's right? We'll see you in August. I see it like three times. Whoa. <laughs> All right, big thunder down. Surely is the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> that shook me up. Man, I lie. came out of my seat I don't know how many times. I had to, normally I like to you know, put my arms up. I had to hold on to the bars because I just was sliding and bumping. And... I was sliding around too and my biker shorts were giving me like Indian burn. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm glad we did that. It's Ooh. awesome. It's gorgeous right now. It's, it's really so pretty. beautiful. I'll, I'll turn the camera so you guys can see what we're it's looking at. It's still humid, but, but mm -hmm. it just it, it's beautiful. It's it's very nice. So. And pro tip for you guys, it is humid. We really recommend these neck fans. We just had um, somebody come up and say, does it really work? And we're like, I swear to God. Yep. It works. <laughs> and if you're, let's say you're at the parks right now watching this, and you're staying there long enough, you have Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. you can order these and they will uh, ship it to the resort and the resort will bring it straight to your room. So just a little fun fact Most resorts will bring it to your room. Most it kind of depends yeah. um, when we stayed at pop sometimes they brought it to the room yeah. Sometimes they didn't. But. Yeah today. We ordered something we ordered like band-aids mm -hmm. and uh, A cast member brought it to our room. We're in and there. So, it's cool. so just so. just just keep that in mind You yeah. can order Amazon stuff, but I have to look at the genie plus but I think it's time for Tron Yes <laughs> Yes so, yes, let's and we're gonna film there. that too. We, we we're gonna do that. Okay, ready? Do yeah. All right. See you guys there. So this is our view, guys. It's partly cloudy. And you see a little bit left of that sunrise or sunset in the background. Chris has his beautiful background music going on. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's happy, guys. Yeah. I'm usually <laughs> always happy in Disney. Yeah. yeah. We are going into the grid. There is no turning back now. Captured. 
performance and victory for Team Blue. All right, just got done with Tron. It was awesome. And I made some friends. Go sub to Wonderland TV. Yeah! yeah. Do it now. That's what's up. Now, I, I don't know what school they were from, or nor did I get their names, but they were a really cool group of kids. They're on vacation right now for like two days with their school. They're all in like band and orchestra, but they were really cool, man. They were really, they, I, I, I liked them all a lot. And so this one's for y'all. <laughs> y'all boys were cool as heck. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the love. And I'm glad you guys got the ride Tron, man. Yeah, so, hope you guys liked it. Yeah, for sure. So shout out to y'all. <laughs> and as always, Tron was absolutely lovely. It was one of our favorites. And I will say, as I will always say, it's just too short. I wish it was a little bit longer, but it just keeps you wanting more. It keeps you coming back, I guess. I guess Disney knows what they're doing. It's a great ride. I mean, it makes you feel like you're in a bike. I just, it's one of the best roller coasters on property, for sure. We're gonna go ahead to the People Mover, and we're gonna try to watch the fireworks on the People Mover. Let's try. Well, let's hope and pray. Yeah, so let's go. Let's do it. We're on. We are on. Let's see if we can catch some fireworks. People Mover, Kyle. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, look at what it looks like. I have never seen this with the lights on, everyone. What? Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. Alright, People Mover was somewhat of a success. We really didn't catch the fireworks. But it's okay because we got to get footage of Space Mountain with the lights on, which I've never seen. That was really cool. How cool was that? <laughs> that was so amazing. So it made up for not being able to necessarily see all the fireworks on the people who were, so I'm okay with that. Super exciting. We got to see that, and we're happy that you guys got to see that too. Really cool. I got a drink. What I got is the, it? It's a Blue Raspberry Frozen Phantom. Give it a whirl. Yeah. That's weird. It's like, I don't know how to describe this. It's very strange. It's frozen, but it's not really cold. <laughs> and it doesn't go to, I try, try that. Hold on. Difference? Try that now. Wow. These. Stink. Get the uh, this, get the. Um, what am I trying to say? Reusable straws. Reusable straws. That's a lot better. A lot better. Get them on Amazon. Go watch our what's in our backpack video. We link them there. I will link that video below. Keep them over down. Tron done. Space Mountain is closed right now. So we are going to head to the Haunted Mansion. We have a lightning lane, so let's go grab that. It's just shy of 10 o'clock. So we'll see you on the Haunted Mansion. Foolish mortals. <laughs> right? Something like that? Something like that. You can always do it my way. <laughs> let's go. Because I remember like, uh, the Haunted Mansion. Like, uh, I got it. I and consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Goblins and 
and ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your tambourines. Crazies and crawlies, toads and a pun. Let there be music from regions beyond. Haunted Mansion done. done. <laughs> that was fun. I feel like the ghosts look more detailed than usual. I don't know. I could just be imagining that. Yeah, it looked like it got some work done, maybe. So. I don't know, but that was always a that's always a good one. The Hatbox Ghost. Yeah, that was really cool. How cool, cool was that? He was cool. It was pretty neat. I gotta admit, that was really cool. So I'm glad we did that. So we're kind of rushing. It's 10.35. We'll have time for one more ride and Chris wants to do the Jungle Cruise. Yep, which I didn't know they did at night. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll see you guys on the Jungle Cruise. Oh yeah, let the dad jokes just come full force. Let's do it. <laughs> Awesome. That was my first time riding it. The puns are great. Just really cool at night too. I'm glad we did it at night. Yeah. It, 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 I've never done this ride before, but I've seen videos of it during the day. Mm -hmm. And the nighttime vibe is totally different. And I definitely would love to do this during the day, but that was cool. That was really, really cool. I need to point out two things. Two things here. Number one is I would advise you guys to sit towards the front. Chris and I were in the back and it was really hard to hear the yeah, skipper. Yeah, it was loud. The engine was just kind of drowning out the skipper talking to the speakers. And number two would be, you cannot use a multi-pass lightning lane on this ride. The cast members um, at the front of the ride were so nice and they did let Chris and I on. But for future reference, you have to get a Genie Plus Lightning Lane for this ride if you want to do a Lightning Lane. You cannot bypass it with the Multi Experience Pass, which I didn't know, so there we go. We learned something new today. We learned something and you did too. Well, Christopher, we have almost shut down the park. It is 10.55, yeah. the Magic Kingdom officially closes at 11. I need to get my booty in the Emporium because I'm not leaving Magic Kingdom unless I check out that gift shop. This is true, so let's do it. Let's go do some last minute shopping. Late night shopping. Let's Woo. go. <laughs> oh. He found something first. To add to your collection, yep. Boba Fett. I got Mando. I have to get Boba. Okay. And I would buy that now. Unlike the last series, we don't have the luxury of coming back, so get them now, babe. So whenever you guys are buying these, make sure you find the one that has the little white tag. That lets you know that it hasn't been pulled, so people haven't been pushing it and draining the battery. So look for this tag when you're buying these figurines. Just a little tip, but. How much is he? Um, $34.99. Worth it. Yes. I'm, I'm happy. So that retro looking collection that Chris and I bought the fanny pack and the tote and the backpack from at the Emporium in the Magic Kingdom, they have some more merch. And Chris is eyeing one of the t-shirts. And I'm gonna tell him right now that I think you should buy it. Because even if he likes it just slightly more than above average, remember baby, Keep the tags on it, keep the receipt, and you can return it if you change your mind. But for $29.99, then you get a 20% discount with your annual pass. No, I know. I'm going to wait to Hollywood. I think I'm going to find some cool stuff. Okay. Hollywood. All right. I don't like it that much. It is I really see. Cool. Okay. But I think I'm going to find something I really like in Hollywood. Okay. 
All right, we're, we're still looking. Chris um, did buy his Boba Fett. Yeah, and it was twenty nine eighty one <laughs> after the annual class discount. So not it bad. Went from what did I say, thirty four ninety nine. I think so. So that's not bad. Cool. All right, we're still looking around. Yeah, we are. Hey Disney, what time is it? The time is eleven fifty nine p.m. <sighs> Sam and Chris are done. I'm done, yeah, I'm tired. But what a great Friday though. It like, really was. Like, we did a lot. <laughs> yeah. Overall, wonderful day. A yeah. long day, but great all in all. So we're gonna wrap this up as soon as we can. So Chris, what is your top three of the day? Top three of the day? This is gonna sound really weird, but it was. I really enjoyed being in Animal Kingdom when it was raining. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. It's just really nice to kind of just take it slow, and it cooled everything down, and just it worked out really well. So I liked it. It was kind of. It was kind of neat. Okay. Uh, number two, I would have to say, was riding Jungle Cruise for the first time. I think number three for me was bumping into all those kids from that school. Yeah. They were really cool. I really, they were, they were, they were really nice kids and, yeah. and I was really happy that uh, they kind of gave us a little shout out and put a little show on for us. So yeah, those were my top three. What about you? Number one, Animal Kingdom related, the safari. It was fantastic. Yeah. We saw literally every animal mm -hmm. on that safari. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing. My number two would be Tron because I love Tron. It's probably like one, I think it's like my top three rides in all of Disney World. It's up there. I would say number three, which I think I said this yesterday, was shopping. <laughs> I found some really good merch, which uh, let's show the camera real quick. Let me get it, let me get okay. it. You guys saw it already, but I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna do it. I have a lock on my way. So. <laughs> All right, okay, calm down there, uh, Boba. That, All right. that was funny. Calm down, but yeah, got this guy, super happy. Y'all saw that already, but just wanna show it off. Then. Boba needs to chill. He's just <laughs> firing all willy-nilly over there. So the first piece that I got uh, from this, I have to figure out the name of this collection, but I love it. So it looks like this is the female um, t-shirt of the collection. Now I did get an extra large, I didn't try it, so hopefully it'll fit good. But it's basically the OG Mickey Mouse logo and it has the Walt Disney World in stitching. I'm a sucker for anything stitched and especially yeah, OG logo. So I got Sweet. that shirt. That was $39.99, but I did get my 20% annual pass discount with that. I always find it funny that Samantha buys these spirit jerseys, hoodies, mm -hmm. sweaters in the middle of summer. But you, know, you gotta season. get it when yeah. you find it because yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna wear it right now, but I might wear it on the plane. This is a zip up hoodie and the embroidered logo, basically same logo on that t-shirt. And then on the back, it is a hooded zip up sweatshirt. It's like embroidered on the edges. Walt Disney World. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. So once again, if I change my mind, which I probably won't, you can save the receipt and exchange it at any Walt Disney World merchandise location. But this zip up hoodie ran a little bit large, uh, like an oversized fitted, and I didn't want it that oversized, so I did get a large, and it's $69.99, but I got my 20% annual discount, and that is all that I bought today. Thank God. Well, that's all that I bought at Magic Kingdom. You guys saw what I bought at Animal Kingdom because we showed the camera my spirit jersey and then the, the mini backpack to this collection. Yeah. So I'm ready to sleep. We got another long day ahead of us tomorrow. We were considering a rope dropping Hollywood, but we decided not to. We think we're going to kind of stroll in between 9 and 9 30 because we plan to be there all day. So that gives us time to kind of like sleep in a little bit. So. 
that's technically when, well, that is when the park opens. Uh, Hollywood Studios is open for early entry at 8.30 tomorrow and it closes at 9 p.m. So that is the plan for tomorrow for us. Yep. For you guys, it'll be the next vlog. Yep. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please like the video and go ahead and hit that sub button. And yeah, just thank you for everything that y'all do. So let's see what happens next. Ooh.